Hello there, so exciting times for Armoured Muscle. Why? Because I have completed my very first virtual challenge. So the online medal, uh, you do a certain distance in a certain time frame from a company and they send you a nice shiny medal for your efforts. So I went with the Conqueror virtual challenges. They're online, they're pretty popular, they've got some snazzy medals. And finally, at last, they've sent me my medal. So today I'm going to unwrap this in front of you. It's the first time I've seen this. As you can see, it's still in its packaging and we'll go through it together. So first thing I'm gonna go through is my challenge, what I did. So I did the Hadrian's Wall challenge, which is 145 kilometers. So equivalently, the equivalent of running along Hadrian's Wall. Uh, so from one end of the edge of Scotland, right the way across from coast to coast to the other end. And Conqueror are really good. They give you a nice little app to follow along. And it's showing me that I've planted five trees for my efforts as well. Now, this medal, um, I think it's about 30 quid, give or take. And there was the option to get a t-shirt as well, but I kind of decided against it because I've got enough gym kit as it is. I didn't really need another t-shirt. Um, I thought the medal would do just nicely but it feels weighty. I have seen one of the Conqueror ones before, so one of my own clients did the channel crossing. They got it and they showed me it, and it, it, yeah, it's quite nice. I thought, you know what, I'll go for it as well. I'll give one a go. Um, and yeah, the Hadrian's Wall. One, Hadrian's Wall doesn't mean anything to me in particular, but I thought it was a nice distance to be able to run my barefoot running. I thought if I could run Hadrian's Wall, I'm accustomed to barefoot running by that point. Also, it looks snazzy, you know, it's red, it's Roman, it suits my branding kind of thing. I like it, let's go for it. Went for training for this medal as I have already done a Spartan race and got myself a nice snazzy metallic medal there already. And I thought this would be a nice little bit of an interlude, sort of give me something to aim for before the next Spartan race. For an extra challenge, I decided to go barefoot. Now, it wasn't actually skin on concrete or skin on tarmac. I use minimal training shoes instead. So there's no padding in these whatsoever. All it is is just a layer between my feet and whatever glass and sharp stones are on the floor. So that was a bit of a challenge for me. It's the first time I've ever run barefoot for any sort of distance, that is. Um, started slow. Uh, short distances, I think I started with eight minutes running right the way up to uh, 10 kilometers or an hour, whichever I hit first. I actually hit the 10 kilometer mark first before I hit the hour, so it's like still 50 some odd minutes to do the 10K. Once I hit 10K, I just carried on doing 10K every week until the end of the challenge was met. Finally did it, sent it off, or submitted my results onto the Conqueror app, and then filled out a little form at the end of it and then finally sent me my medal. Straight away, it's weighty. There's a little bit of weight to it. I mean, probably about the same as the Spartan medal. Uh, maybe not with the extra segment that Spartan medals come with. It came in the post pretty quickly. I think it's about, when did I submit it? So I submitted it on a Saturday. It's now Wednesday. It gives you an idea of how fast it comes. In the UK, anyway. Um, and my other client that's done the one before also said it arrives pretty quickly. So, in this wrapping, yes, yeah, it's, it's quite, you know, less is more, which is quite nice. Uh, a little sticker on it to obviously help them in the factory, show them which medal needs to be sent out. Uh, on the back, saying about how a smart challenge, how a smart goal helps you, helps you get on. So the Conqueror challenges are all about setting yourself a smart goal, one that's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and has a time frame. That's really good for keeping motivated. Certainly has helped keep me motivated. There were times when I wanted to go, you know what, can't be arsed. But then sort of looking at the medal going, oh, actually, this is a nice medal. Let's go out and get it. Or just add a few more kilometers. There were a few weeks where I didn't want to do my 10K. Or I didn't have enough time to do my 10K. But because I had the medal waiting for me, I went out and did 5K instead and at least got out and did something instead of nothing, keeping that consistency going. Let's peel it out. So the cellophane wrapping. Um, nothing saying that this cellophane is recyclable. Um, considering they plant trees on your behalf, we can now clear plastic waste when you work, work with Conqueror. 
you know, maybe some recycled packaging. Who knows? Maybe that would help. Um, so yeah, plasticky cardboard feel again, still got the weight. So how do we get into this? So a little bit of a tab here, pull that out. And well, hey, would you look at that? Got a nice snazzy medal, a little bit of writing there as well. Uh, Love to hear so sort of sharing stuff on Facebook. And then opens up so you can get the rest of the lanyard or the, what's the word I'm looking for people? The bit that goes around your neck, that thing. Cool. Oh, so a little bit of glue on the back here. Hopefully that's gonna come off quite nicely. So keeping that coming. Yeah, so it's left the metal quite clean and it's like a foamy glue that's stuck on just to keep it in place. So I'd imagine this cardboard stuff, nice and recyclable by the looks of it. Um, although there's nothing on here to say that it is. So here it is. This is my first time seeing it. So I'm staring at it a lot as well. It's uh. I must admit, the one I saw from my client was a bit smaller than I expected, but this is actually the size I thought it would be. So, you know, this is a pixel, you know, kind of give you rough sort of size. You know, it's nice, it's weighty, it's thick. Um, the finish on it is, is lovely. So it's nice and shiny. It's looking really good. It's, it doesn't seem to be painted on. You know, it's a nice lacquer. The metallic is quite nice as well. So, cool. The ribbon or the lanyard, that's nice and thick. It's nice, silky smooth as well. Good quality there. The sewing on the back, yeah, it's a little bit out of line perhaps, but hey ho, I'm going to be sticking this up on the wall and you're not going to be able to see the lanyard anyway. So, I dare say I'm not really going to be wearing it around town, for example. So that's quite nice. Yeah, we'll stick it on. Yeah, this is quite snazzy. So Hadrian's Wall, got your little 90 miles challenge. You know, with your Roman helmet, your little uh, Roman eagle on the top. Yeah, so it's quite nice. Yeah, is it worth 30 quid? You know what? Yeah, I'm going to say it is. Would it be worth 50 quid with a t-shirt? I don't know, it depends on the quality of the t-shirt. Um, obviously I didn't feel it was worth it, otherwise I would have gone for it. But I think the medal's enough. The medal is what I want. And then I'm gonna stick it up in um, little holders I've got, little wooden holders, got these off Etsy. And I'm gonna stick it in there, hang it up, stick it next to a Spartan medal and build up the collection. And maybe the wife, she's on about getting some as well, so she can go from there. So I'm quite chuffed with that. That's quite nice. It's, like I said, it's the weight that really gets me. That weight is, kind of brings out a quality feel to the medal, which is quite nice. And then hopefully one day, uh, especially for arm and muscle myself, we're gonna be working on, they're not metal, they're not heavy, um, not at this stage anyway, but we're working on getting my own little medals made up for clients out there so they can give something or gives them a smart goal to reach for as well. Uh, so if you want to see any more, um, I'll put a link in the description below for 10% off a medal if you want to do it. Uh, for full disclosure, every two people that actually use that link, Conqueror give me the chance to get another medal for free, for full disclosure. So I'm not affiliated with Conqueror at all. When you do your medal, you'll get the very same link. So you can share that to your friends as well. There'll be a blog post coming onto my website, almondmuscle.com, where I'll talk about a little bit more, a little bit about the pros and cons of actually doing virtual medals in the first place, and a bit more of a story about getting this very weighty, high quality Hadrian's Wall medal. Cool. So if you've enjoyed this video, you know, give it a like, give me a follow, a subscribe, and hopefully I'll have more stuff for you in the future.